So Matt, we've talked about the problems. How do we fix it? So we got trainers with no guidance, right? No leadership. They're undermanaged, and that's going to lead to uh, poor player experience. Okay, just not having fun playing the game, and, and, and ultimately just not getting the re results that they they need, right? So for us, what we've done is we we've kind of broken this down into three ways to fix the problem, right? Our system of development, our program structure, and then our business model. Okay, so with our system of development, it's not just players. We're talking about staff as well. Okay, because we got to provide some guidance and some leadership to them. But it's all got to start with the player, right? We always say here at M14. You got to keep the main thing the main thing and the main thing is that kid and that kid getting better at basketball So we've created a master curriculum. That's from you know interviewing high school coaches You know industry with middle school coaches doing all the research that it takes and really trying to figure out What is it really that a third grader needs? What about a fourth grader fifth grader sixth grader seventh grader and along with that? We have to make sure we're moving them Okay, so it's got to be dynamic enough because you're going to get an all-star fourth grader and you might get a new beginner fourth grader, right? They need to be taught two different things. So that master curriculum has to be dynamic enough that it can make sure that, hey, there's some checkpoints, but if they got through this one, go ahead and give them the next one, right? So similar kind of to the educational system, right? You're not going to learn multiplication before you learn addition, but hey, if you got the addition, let's keep on going to the advanced class to get you to multiplication, right? Um, our system is really geared towards getting players to high school, right? Being on that high school team, because I think statistically that's something that's um, obtainable, right, for most players. I think there's over 500,000 uh, varsity basketball players, okay? So we want our kids to be able to do that. And once they get to high school, we want them playing meaningful and impactful minutes at that level. Not to say we're not going to help them get to college, right? But that does start to enter into um, athleticism, genetics, that kind of thing, being able to play level three, two, or one in college, right? So we have a system that's headed towards getting kids ready for high school. Once they get there, they got to be ready to play, and we want them on the floor playing, okay? So we have a master curriculum, all right? Now with that, we got to have some staff development. We call our staff development CEC, Continual Education Courses, okay? There are certain certifications that every trainer has to get before we even allow them to get in front of players, all right? Again, they have to learn that master curriculum so they know they're teaching the right things, they're moving these players along. There's that guidance and that leadership that trainers need. We provide that uh, when they work for us, okay? Uh, they have to learn our training progressions, they gotta learn the SAFs, they gotta learn all these different things and these tools that we have um, to help the players ultimately raise their experience, right? So our system of development is critical to really being able to solve some of these problems, right? The next thing is our program structure, okay? We have learned how to master group training. All right, and that's difficult to do, right? Because I said, sometimes you're going to have this age variance. You're going to have a talent variance, right? So we have to figure out how to not have that happen, right? And we've done that with evaluations, okay? So we evaluate players for training to make sure that the curriculum or wherever we're going to start is appropriate, right? So all of this stuff is connected. We can't just get a kid in there and then to say, hey, you're going to be with me for 12 weeks. I don't know who you are or what to teach or even if this is the best program for you, right? So we need to make sure that we could see them. So that academy structure is really really something that we've seen has really raised the player experience, right? Because we're able to control their development and where they're headed to. Because in that structure, we're gonna see them two to three times a week. And a season is generally 12 weeks, right? So they gotta commit to us for 12 weeks. That gives us an opportunity to slow down, be thorough, teach them correctly, and move them uh, through the development process, through that academy season, right? And then ultimately, all those things lead to our business model, which was where we wanna create the win-win-win. All right, uh, the first win is for the player. Like I said, you gotta keep the main thing the main thing. When you're doing one-on-one -on -one lessons, they are very valuable, don't get me wrong, you need them in the game of basketball because sometimes a kid just needs to work on their shot or they need to work on their IQ, they need to work on something individualized for them. So private instruction is very important in the sport of basketball, right? But a lot of things you can get in a group setting and you can teach more, right? Because the cone's not moving, that chair's not moving. So once we master this move, all right, now I need to put a defender in front of you, right? So you can actually try the move for real against a live moving object, right? It gets reaction time, okay? So now we get to talking about that principle and those IQs, drive with your shoulder. From the 45, you gotta drive middle, you need to drive under the elbow. From the top of the key, you need to drive between the lane lines. Now we can add another offensive player, another one. Hey, this sounds like three on three. So now if I'm teaching on the ball defense, I can teach off the ball defense. Now I can say if they help, you need to learn how to play without the basketball. Now in our academy structure, we can create that win for the player because we can teach them so much more. 
beyond just, hey, here's how you do the move. Now, here's really how you translate this into a game situation because every single time you do this move, you're not going to shoot. Maybe sometimes you need to learn how to pass, right? That's the thing I told you with my coach. Like, hey, we're teaching all these moves to shoot, but who's teaching shot selection? You're going to need more players in order to do that. So ultimately, our highest level of our progression chart is getting to translation, right? So that creates a win for the player because we can just teach so much more, right? That also, by being in a group, is going to create the win for the parent. Okay, and that's from a financial standpoint, right? Because you can charge less per session if they're not privates, right? Because there's more kids in the group, so you're not gonna charge the same thing that you would charge if it was a one-on-one -on -one private lesson, right? So now I got the win for the player, I got the win for the parent, and then ultimately that creates the win for the business because that does mean there are more dollars on the hour. So that does mean that we can afford to pay a trainer full-time wages, right? Um, which allows them then to be able to continue to research, do the development, study our system, bring new ideas, stay with the late and cut is, uh, cutting edge uh, development, right? So now we can actually afford to run a business, okay? So the way that we have figured out how to solve these problems is just through our system, right? We want system of development with the player and the staff. We want our program structure to be sound. We're gonna do private lessons, but our academy is what's been shown to be our most popular uh, program that we run. And then again, that business model, which helps us really learn how to translate it for the player, helps it financially with the parent, and helps the business financially as well, keep everybody employed, which again, makes everything work.